Hey, yeah, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're going to be covering some XML injection. We haven't covered this in a really long time, so I decided to go ahead and make a video about it. This is going to be an easy CTF, but it's going to be really self-explanatory and really straightforward. Injecting into different web pages is something you're going to see a lot. They're really common. If you go and search the activity on Hacker One, you're going to see injection all over the place. You're also going to see injection on OWASP Top 10 whether it's SQL injection or some kind of HTML injection, JavaScript or PHP or object injection. And so this XML injection fits right in there with all of those injection payloads. So it's something you're going to want to know and something you're going to need to be really good at. And in that, one of the things I really like about this really simple CTF is that we get to change the content type and then inject into something that is not already set up for us in Burp. So this will be really good practice and something that you need to know if you're going to be a bug bounty hunter or you're going to be a web application penetration tester. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay. So here we are on Hack the Box. You can come and open up the instance on Waffles under Web Content. Over here, we can go to the Challenges and then you'll go to Web Content and you can open up Waffles right here. I've already opened it and opened up the IP and you're brought to a page that looks like this. And if you select something over here and hit Order, we just get this Your Ice Cream is Ordered. So this is the basics of what it looks like. You can open up the page source by coming down here and hitting view page source. And when you look at this, you're not going to find anything really too interesting over here. So the next thing to do is go to burp. And one of the things you should always do in the case of a CTF is this tells us this is an XXE vulnerability right there, which is pretty much a slap in the face. So if we hit order, we can open this up. And one of the things I actually tried to do just for fun was because this is XXE doesn't mean there isn't any other way to exploit this vulnerability. If you look at this right here, you can see that it's running in JSON and you can try some JSON injection. But when we look at the page source, we're actually not getting any JavaScript back. So it's going to be really hard to pull off some kind of cross site scripting through the JSON injection. And then when you open up the page source, you find out that it's PHP, so it's not gonna work anyway. And then with the PHP, we're not getting back any kind of object, any kind of PHP object, so we're not gonna be able to do any kind of object injection to get the flag, which leaves us with the XXE. So it's always good to try different methods of exploitation, even those that are not the intended method, just for fun and for practice. So we have this right here, and if we send this, this is the message we get back. We're told that it is successful. So now is the time to see if we can inject something else in here. So one of the things we can do is injection, and I spelled that wrong, but it should work for us. And we want something from, we want payloads right here like this. And we'll open up this first one right here from GitHub. And we can scroll down and just grab this banner right here, copy and paste this in. And let's send this and see if we get an error message. And it tells us we have an error message. So maybe we can just try something like XML and send this. And it still says we have an error message. And I think that is probably because we need to change our content type. So let's go ahead and check what kind of content type we need for this by going out to Google and typing in XML content type like this, and it should tell us what we need. So it's Stack Overflow, and it can tell us right here, text and content type, application, XML, just like that. So if we come back to Burp, we can type in XML, and we might actually need to delete this and send this over. And we're not getting an error message, it's just not rendering. So we can go ahead and try this and see what happens. So we need to remember this right here. So what I'm going to do is actually just send a, another page over to repeater so that we always have this page right here that we know works for us. So we'll send this to repeater and I accidentally sent too many, but that's okay. So we have this over here. Now we can start to change this. So we can change this to say XML. And then we want to remember this table number right here with this number one. So we'll just move this down and write our payload in right here. So we'll come back over to this GitHub page 
and we'll just grab this right here and start modifying it until it works for us. So we have this doc type, we have the example, we'll actually just delete this for now. I don't think we will need it. And we'll just grab this table number because if we send it, it's gonna tell us that we need a table number. So we can paste this in. I don't think it matters, we can leave John right there. If it wants a number, we'll change it to a number. And let's delete this and it's gonna tell us it needs a food. So we can type in both and send it and it tells us that it has went through it successfully. So now we know we can do some kind of XML injection. So now we can change our payload to be more precise. And so what we want is a file. So what we'll do is we'll just grab this entire line right here and then tell it we want the flag file like we would with most of these hack the box challenges. So we'll paste this in and we want the file flag and we need to use this int right here. This is like a variable. You can change this to anything you want. So we can just change it to HDB and we'll put it in right here. So we say and HDB with the little semicolon right here. And if you come back over here to our payloads, it'll actually tell us right here is the syntax that you need. And we can send this and we get back the flag right here. So that is a pretty simple XML injection example. So you can play around with these in the wild. If you go out to like Hacker One, you're gonna see a lot of these XML injection walkthroughs or reports, and it would be helpful for you to read them. You can really just start trying to inject things all over the place and see what comes back. And that is really how you're gonna find these. This CTF was really easy because it tells us XXE right at the top of the page. So we know what we're supposed to be looking for and it is rated as easy, but in the real world, you can go and try and change the content type and get used to changing the content type because you're gonna see this a lot in CTFs. It happens a lot if you go read the HackerOne reports. This would be something for you to get into the habit of if you know what is running on the back end to try and pull off some kind of injection injection is one of the top vulnerabilities if you go and read the OWASP top 10 you're gonna see injection I think it's in the top five most common vulnerabilities and it might even be higher than that so this is a really simple example and I would encourage you to just go out and find a program or some other CTF and continue to practice these to really ingrain the XML injection into your memory there you're gonna see them a lot in the future and it would be worth knowing really well thanks for watching